Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's been a long time since I did a video like this, but I decided to get my old mate Max behind the computer to flick through some comments, get some outrageous comments, and we're gonna discuss them, gonna reply to them. I like replying to comments every now and then. I don't always look at comments, it can do your head right in. Some people say some ridiculous stuff. So these comments are from a video that recently got 1 million views on YouTube. It's my first video to get a million views on YouTube. I've got plenty on Facebook that got over a million views, but this is a Dairy Farmer versus Vegan. And it's like Dairy Farmer destroys vegan activists. Everyone wants to see the vegan activists get destroyed. It's got 16,000 likes, 16,000 dislikes. But Max, hit me with them. I haven't seen these comments yet, so I'm going to react as they come out of Max's mouth. I'm going to respond. Let's do it. This guy cares more about calves than human children. Idiot. I care more about calves than human children. No, I don't. <laughs> I just care enough about calves that I don't want to stab them in the throat, shoot them in the head, steal them from their mother, rape their mother, kill their mother. So it doesn't mean you have to care about calves more than a baby. If there was a human baby there and a mother crying and there was a calf there, then I'm probably going to probably going to save the human baby. I don't know. That's probably going to be an in intuitive thing. That doesn't mean I want to murder the calf, does it? And animal rights isn't about that. It's about giving them fundamental rights of liberty and freedom. It, it, it means you're not doing something horrible to them. It doesn't mean you have to love them. Some vegans don't even love animals at all. You don't even have to love animals. I've grown to love animals. I've grown to love uh, calves and chickens and pigs. You don't have to. Just stop stabbing them. Stop murdering them. That simple. Ready? Okay, next one. Plant-based milk. Oh, milk by definition comes from animals. Vegans are stupid. Plant-based milk. Milk by definition comes from animals. Yeah, also it comes from humans. It also comes from a human breast. You're supposed to wean off the milk when you're bloody three years old, four years old, when you turn into a toddler. Okay, what are you still doing drinking breast milk? And you know, we're marketing milk, plant-based milk, to those people who are still breastfeeding, okay? So we call it milk, almond milk, okay? Something people can understand, something people can connect with. We also do the same things with plant-based meat alternatives. When people see, oh, that's plant-based chicken, it's something that they understand, okay? It's better than stabbing a chicken or enslaving a mother for her breast milk. So yeah, I'm cool with calling it milk. Almond milk, soy milk, rice milk, choose one. Get off the tit. Vegans will be the death of humankind. Just eat your damn plants and leave our farms alone. Human? Wait, wait, wait. Say that again? Vegans will be the death of humankind. Just eat your damn plants and leave our farms alone. Vegans will be the death of humankind. That's interesting, seeing as a vegan diet is probably the most powerful thing you can do to halt or reverse some of the biggest environmental destructions we face. Think about the resources in the piece of meat. We're eating ourselves to death. We're eating the planet to extinction. We're eating the planet to destruction. Okay, so vegan diets are good for all of that. Now, vegan diets will also, whole foods, plant-based diets, are the only diet proven to reverse the number one killer of humans, okay, which is heart disease. She told me that vegans will be the death of humankind. No, 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 no. Vegans will be the saviour of humankind and the rest of the species on Earth. Vegans want to end killing, okay? We want to end death as far as practically possible. Now, what was the rest of it? Just eat our darn plants. Eat our darn plants and leave our farms alone. Well, those two sentences contradict because, uh, you know, plants come from farms. We support plant farming, okay? How else are we going to get our plant foods? So you want us to leave the, plant, the farms alone but eat our plants. No, we need farms to make plants, and I don't think exploiting and killing animals is farming, okay? I think that that's just murder and exploitation. So we should make a distinction between farming, which is like, you know, growing, cultivating plants for human beings, and exploitation and rape and murder, which is what animal agriculture is. It's not farming. Hit me. If Mother Nature intended us to be vegan, you wouldn't become anemic from B12 deficiency. Wow, if Mother Nature intended us to be vegan, you wouldn't become anemic from B12 deficiency. Anyone can have B12 deficiency, not just vegans. Okay? Meat eaters get B12 deficiency from absorption problems. B12 doesn't even come from animals. It comes from the soil and it comes from the water. Bacteria produces this B12. So, yes, vegans have to supplement, and so do meat eaters. I mean, B12 has been injected into the animals, isn't it? It's been sprinkled into the animal feed. 
and you know, the, the cow, they might eat the grass and pick up the dirt and have the bacteria in the dirt, ends up in their stomach, and when we murder the cow, it's in their blood, it's in their flesh, and you eat that flesh to get your B12. Why not just spray a supplement in your mouth? Here it is. B12. One spray. Oh my god, that was easy. Or should I rape a cow and stab them in the throat and cut it out of their flesh? How ridiculous. Now, the old mother nature is just an appeal to nature fallacy and anyone can get B12 deficient, okay? It's important for everyone to supplement. It's in all of our food, B12, sprinkled in by the government, supplemented. Your animals you, you eat are injected with B12 too. So stop appealing to nature and just eat plants and supplement with a B12. Don't plants have feelings too? I mean, after all, they're living things, hypocrites. Plants have feelings too. Now, I'm gonna commend this person here because that's the first time I've actually heard that. Not. They are living things. Plants are living things. Animals are living sentient beings. Okay, a plant is not a sentient being. Now, let me give you an analogy to show you how disgusting that justification actually is. Let's just say a child murderer who goes around murdering, raping children, and there's uproar about that, you know, and people are saying, what are you doing? This, this man should be, you know, hung. He should be put in jail, prison for life. The man goes, what's your problem? Plants have feelings too. Would that justification fly in that context? No, it wouldn't. What if someone kicked your dog to death? You ran outside crying, oh my God, my dog's dead. What are you doing? You murdered my dog. And they, and they say to you, what's your problem? Plants have feelings too. Carrots feel everything when you bite into them. Do you think this carrot feels this pain? Absolute nonsense. Plants do not have a brain, no nervous system. They feel nothing. They respond, they react, they react, okay? If you touch a plant, they, they react to, to the environmental stimuli. How many times do we have to go over this? They don't have thoughts. They don't perceive pain in the same way a pig does. There's a difference between stabbing a pig in the throat, throwing a pig in the gas chamber, raping a cow, stealing her young, okay? And breaking the leaf off of a tree. You know what's exactly the same as eating this carrot? Cutting the head off of a dog and eating the dog. There's no difference. Plants have not evolved to avoid pain. Okay, they're rooted into the ground. Animals and humans, we can avoid pain, we suffer. You can tell the difference between, you know, biting the head off a broccoli and biting the head off a chicken. Humans are omnivores. If anyone doesn't know that, maybe seek help from the nearest dairy, dairy farmer. Well, wait a second, a dairy farmer is gonna give us milk. Well, omnivores stop, like a natural omnivore, will stop feeding from their mother's breast like a normal infant will, but human beings are still breastfeeding. Anyway, isn't an omnivore someone like a, an animal eats uh, meat and uh, plant foods in nature? Human beings have no omnivorous instincts. We don't have claws, we're not streamlined to hunt like predators. We buy our food from the supermarket. You look at our teeth, flat and blunt, they grind with a chewing motion side to side. We do not rip and swallow like a proper omnivore does, like a bear with claws. You know, our digestive tract, our digestive system really long, you know, to, to process all the plant food. We have amylase, which is a, an enzyme which digests carbohydrates in our saliva. Real omnivores don't have that. They digest all their food with their, in their stomach. They have high acid content in their stomach. There's many things that are different between a human being and a real omnivore, okay? Now, we're opportunistic eaters, you know. Let's just say out in the wild we see a uh, you scavenge for a dead carcass there, we might find that. It's really hard to hunt down an animal without weapons and without luck. So, so we have to rely on tubers from the ground, picking out tubers. This omnivore argument is just so ridiculous. There's nothing about a human being's be uh, eating behavior that you could compare to a natural omnivore, okay? We go to the supermarket, buy our flesh, you know, which omnivore is doing that? We cook our flesh, season our flesh, flavor our flesh with plants. What, what natural omnivore is doing that? They eat their flesh, blood, bones, you know, brain, bits of ligament, raw off of an animal while their heart's still beating. They rip their throat out. When I see a dog walk past me, I just want to murder them and eat them because I'm an omnivore. Smaller dogs especially, but carrots, not at all. We don't do those things. If you see a rabbit get torn to shreds and they're lying there suffering, 
You're gonna to wanna to help the rabbit. You're not gonna to wanna to eat the rabbit's brain like a real omnivore will. What about you as an omnivore? Bet you've never seen an animal be slaughtered in your entire life. Stand in, in a slaughterhouse kill floor. Tell me if you feel hungry when you see a pig screaming for their lives with blood spraying out of their neck like I have. Tell me if you're a real omnivore then. Yeah, I, I, bet, I guarantee if you bring a dog in there, they'll start licking the blood off the floor. Would you feel like licking the blood off the floor after you see a pig be murdered? Stop being ridiculous and eat your bloody vegan burger. We need to go back to school. These people think plants feel pain. They need to go to bloody school. You know, I know some women that would kick his ass. You know, me being a vegan activist, I've heard a lot of these things over and over and over and over and over again. 